All right, yo, it's awake. We're gonna jump into some live games here. <clears throat> I am like 3,100 or something. Uh, I'm not super high up, but um, I'm not super low either. So let's see what he wants to do. Um, this is a weird cycle, and me only having Inferno and cycle. If you want, like, what if this is Lava Loon or something? If I cycle a card, it could screw me. So, okay, so he's gonna drop a knight. So I'm just gonna drop a Valk, and maybe this is Expo. So I'm gonna hold a boulder, bowler at the bridge. Okay, so he has a uh, Mega Minion. So this is definitely graveyard. Okay, he's gonna in front of the bridge. All right, I already know exactly what deck this is because a viewer actually requested this. This is the LL So Rob deck. Um. So he's probably gonna like bowler. Okay, so I'm gonna just baby dragon down low. He doesn't have a good response for baby dragon, I don't think. Um, yeah, especially since his Tesla's gone. I'm actually gonna block the bridge because he's definitely gonna go in for a graveyard. Yeah, okay. And then I'm just gonna valk. Hopefully the graveyard doesn't get too much hits. <clears throat> okay, and now um, he might inferno. Okay, he doesn't have inferno in cycle. My baby dragon locks on. Um, that knight is actually gonna give the bowler some damage on the tower. I'm just gonna inferno high because there's nothing he can do to punish that. And knowing that he has skeleton army in hand and that's his best card, uh, I'm just gonna NATO at zero. I knew he was gonna try and wait for the inferno to cross the bridge so that his tower would lock onto it and that it would def the his skeleton army would defend both the inferno and the the graveyard so I kind of predicted him there um now whether or not I can defend this we will find out and I don't think so so that's okay because <clears throat> we already took one of his towers so at least uh at least is that okay and so he's gonna inferno so I'm just gonna bowler low because it's super slow and by the time that it gets there his inferno is gonna be super low on HP and so maybe I can like freeze tornado something towards it to kill it the rest of the way if he gives me enough value. <clears throat> so honestly, it's not looking good for him. I'm actually just gonna go in for a Valk as soon as that locks onto my boar. So that, and then I'm just gonna freeze the skeleton army. Uh, this is a super good scenario for me. Uh, I'm just gonna bowler right here because I have so much pressure going for me right now. <clears throat> wow. I honestly think that's game. I'm just gonna ice with this in the middle because I know he's gonna skeleton on me, but I don't think he'll be able to predict that I was gonna do that. I'll freeze at zero. And okay, I think I probably could have just NATOed at zero and that would have been enough. So uh jump right into the next one. Okay, yep, that was the deck. Um, I will, I'll use that deck pretty soon. Uh, not yet, not yet though. Um, yeah, so I just lost the last one, so I just cut it out. Um, fuck that. Uh, we're not gonna just sit here and watch. Watch me get hooped on. <clears throat> All right, so. It's a weird cycle, so I'm probably just going to wait. Um, Ice Spirit could be anything. It really could. So I'm just going to wait for a second. In case he's going to cycle log. So I'm going to cycle Baby Dragon. Just because it might be Expo. And if it's Expo, then I have Bowler in cycle, in cycle for it. Let's see what he does. I'm in Inferno High. Okay, so he has Princess. Okay, so this is Bait. He's just going to go into the safe spot. Uh, it's an easy prediction. He just want to give me the King Tower activation. Understand that. Um, I'm gonna go in for Graveyard, just knowing that he doesn't have Goblin Gang in cycle, and he's gonna have to commit a Knight or Tesla to that bowler. Yeah, looks like that really paid off for me. Um. All right, so I'm gonna hold my Valk here. If he wants to go in for a Goblin Barrel. Uh, this will defend all of it. Okay, 
Well, he went in for a tricky barrel. I'm actually going to NATO that back, even though I'm at zero. Just because, um... He didn't rocket or anything, and... If he's smart right now, he's going to just rocket my tower because he knows that he's up. But, um... No, instead he's not. Wow. He actually let my bounce get a hit as well. I'm just going to... I tried to predict the princess with my Inferno Dragon. Did not work out. I should probably do the same thing with my bowler, but... Okay. I, I will just give him that one hit. Whatever. It's just... Uh, you can't predict every single one, I guess. Oh. The, <clears throat> a bait player will always do that when they have, like, a Tesla or an Inferno up. They'll always try and, like, uh, princess the bridge. I'm just going to hold the Valk here in case he wants to go for a Goblin Barrel. He's actually going to go to the left this time, so... <clears throat> I saw that. Let's drop a Valk on top of that. I'm going to go in for a Naked Graveyard, and then I'm going to go for a Tornado Freeze, because I don't think that he has a good response for that. Yeah, and he definitely did not have a good response for that. Wow. And that's basically game. I don't I don't see any way for him to come back. Even if he rockets that, I mean there's no way that he can ever get enough damage because I have bowler and cycle, tornado, freeze. It's gonna tornado to take out his tower. Um, I'll predict his princess with a bowler. Uh, yeah, and I'll just freeze on defense. There's really nothing he can, he can do towards the end, especially when I have one of his towers. <clears throat> Alright, so that was a pretty easy matchup. So that's the, like, how you beat bait. Like, somebody was asking how to beat bait. That's how you beat bait. Um, alright. Jumping into the next one, we're going against Mr. Cool. I bet you this guy is Mr. Cool for sure. So, Pie Apple Pie is his clan. All right, so he's gonna go Zappies in the back. We're just gonna go Bowler first. And if he goes like Royal Hogs or something, I'll just Valk. Okay, exactly. Everybody who uses Zappies like <laughs> is usually Royal Hogs. Um, this is probably a really good matchup for me. Um, wow. That was a bad flying machine. He probably should have just dropped his flying machine high um, to take out the bowler and then uh, in the opposite lane. Okay, so he's gonna just go all in. And I'm just gonna ice whiz like this. Uh, even if he like, had an e whiz, like, I don't think he would have got it down in time before his Mega Knight would have been melted. <clears throat> Okay, so we're just gonna sit here. Um, wow. So we're probably at like the exact same amount of elixir. It's gonna bore down low. Okay, yep, we're at the exact same amount of elixir. <clears throat> um. So he's probably gonna go in for royal hogs on the right, and I'm just gonna freeze it and then valk because. Um, there's really nothing he can do to break through at this point. I mean, you can't give up a tower that early. Um, in a matchup like this, like, he definitely has a good chance of beating me, even with all the splash damage that I have. Um, okay, just like that. So he has elite barbarians. Um, I'm gonna NATO at last second, okay. He's gonna get some damage there. I'm not, I'm honestly not even worried about it because now I kind of know the rest of his deck and he has like an elite barbarians type of like spam. Um, I don't think he's ever going to break through now <clears throat> just because I know his deck. I'm going to bowler down low and if he wants to, oh wow, he has the, <laughs> he has the mother witch too. Wow. So he, he could have easily, you know, like won this if he hadn't choked at the beginning. Um, I'm just going to tornado and probably freeze this. Um, kind of annoying push and then I'm just going to have Valk in front. Yeah, this is a good game. There's 24 seconds left. And I'll just predict with the bowler because he literally has to drop it. Um, okay, even if he goes in the right lane right now, um, I can just tornado it and then baby dragon. Yep. And I'll wait a second and then you tornado. That way you can uh, 
one of them will die, and then you can get the other two to the tower. And then I would have had Valkyrie for his two barbarians. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so I played the next two, and I did it off cam because my phone started lagging. Um, I went against this guy. For some reason, he has no season finish. I think that means that he got, like, banned for something. So, he's probably, like, account sharing or... I don't know. The guy's probably a scumbag. <clears throat> Anyways, he has, like, the hardest counter of all hard counters versus my deck. He has poison for the graveyard freeze. Um, even if he doesn't poison it, then he can just mother witch it. So, this is a hard matchup. And... This is a replay, um, because I, I, like I said, I was lagging, so I didn't want, like, any more type of distractions, like my phone, um, me recording and stuff, and me, like, doing it live. <clears throat> so, I messed up the tornado there against the bandit, really sucks. Um, right here, I have a really awkward cycle, so I'm just gonna freeze, and I was trying to buy myself enough time so I could get my bowler down. And I was going to drop my bowler lower, but he ended up going bandit, um, <clears throat> realizing that I had to overspend. So I'm just going to go for a tornado here. And then he goes <laughs> for a ram rider at the bridge, realizing that I've overspent like a lot of elixir. So I'm just going to actually defend this, which is weird. But it actually did, the Valkyrie hit actually did stop one hit from going through, which maybe won me this game. Um, I'm not too sure. So, now that I know he has E-Wiz, I can be careful with my Inferno Dragon, so I don't accidentally try and snipe his Mega Knight. <coughs> um, right here, kind of seeing what he's doing, so I'm probably just going to reset with a Baby Dragon behind my King Tower, because I know he does not have Tornado, so he can't really Tornado this Baby Dragon. Um... I thought it was funny, too, because he was laughing at me, um, because I made a bad play at the beginning. But, um, you know, everyone makes mistakes, and it's funny because he ends up making mistakes, um, in the rest of this matchup. So I'm gonna drop a bowler. Um, super good encounter right there. Um, I'm not really sure. That was a bad ram rider by him because, um, he literally dropped it after I dropped my bowler, so, uh, he could have totally went opposite lane. Which is what he should have done. Um, I'm gonna go for a graveyarder here and then freeze. And then I'm actually gonna even tornado at last second just to try and kill that mother witch. Because if it doesn't die, it's gonna be super annoying. <clears throat> my Valkyrie survived with one HP, making it so that my bowler gets a couple hits on that tower. Super good for me. I'm just gonna ice was down low and uh, try and defend this. I'm a baby dragon down low. I'm going to Valk the bridge, and I'm not going to go in because I know he's just going to Mother Witch. And I know he's going to Mega Knight this, so I'm just going to wait, and then I'm going to bore. Unfortunately, the Mega Knight walked one step back for the for the Valkyrie, and so because of that, it actually, um, it actually made the Mega Knight jump instead. So right here, I cycle back to a Valk and Ice Wiz. That's going to perfectly defend... The Ram Rider, I still can't go in for a Graveyard because he has Mother Witch and Poison and Cycle. So I'm just going to go and set, set up a big push and see what he wants to do. Because I know he doesn't have Ram Rider and Cycle, so he can't really punish me at the bridge. Um, I'm going to set up all of my troops just in the back. <clears throat> so he's going to Mega Knight right here. This is not a good play because um, I can just Valk in front and then... He wastes his poison, so I can go in for a graveyard freeze now. And he gave me a mother witch value, so I can just freeze his mother witch. And I'm not sure if he was trying to, like, cycle back to another uh, mother witch right here, but it definitely did not pay off. So I can just bowl her again. And then ice was right next to it. Now I'm going to start trying to fight him at the bridge because I can't. I'm like, I need to get this damage. I need to win this game. Right here, I'm definitely going to Tornado and then freeze that, just so it dies. Um, like I said, I want that Mother Witch to die. If she dies, I can just bore this. <coughs> um, bore this, and then 
I'm gonna actually tornado this in to kill that mother witch once again. I'm um, just gonna baby dragon high and then cycle to another boulder in case he wants to go for ram rider. So he'll stunt it. Yeah, he's, he starts to get mad here because he realizes, you know, you shouldn't BM people until you've actually won the matchup. I can just Ice Wiz and Valkyrie, and that's basically the game. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't BM until the game is actually over. Because then you end up like this guy, Chief Matt, who's mad as hell. <clears throat> Alright, and then jumping into the game right after that. Versus Hosean Neutron. This is a super good matchup for me. He's gonna go um, Dark Prince and then he goes Inferno High. <clears throat> I'm not really too sure why. I guess he just thought maybe he was a good play, but I honestly don't think so. Um, so I just go Bowler for this and he cycles his Rage and it actually gets him a hit with the Dark Prince, but. I kind of knew I was up like one elixir, so I baby dragon down low, and he uh he goes in for an eagle him at the same time. It kind of sucks because you know if I had dropped the baby dragon on the the left side, it would have just died anyways, <clears throat> and he would have been able to make an even bigger counter push. So I may as well go opposite lane and try and get some tower damage instead of making him so he can just build up a huge push. I'm just gonna have Valkyrie on the left. And uh, he's actually going to have the Tornado, otherwise it's not going to splash my, my Inferno Dragon. And then I'm just going to bore at zero. And as soon as I get Baby Dragon, I'm going to Baby Dragon to try, try and kill that sooner. And um, I'm not going to go in for a Graveyard just yet because I want to see what he has to do with this. And then if he does the Dark Prince, then... I, I'm like sitting there with an Inferno Dragon so I can just try and snipe it at the bridge. Um, cause I know he doesn't have Electro Giant, or Electro, <laughs> what the heck, Electro Dragon in, in cycle. Um, so right here he's definitely gonna have to spend something. I actually go Valkai just so that the Inferno will help out my Valk and keep it at more HP. Um, so right here he has to make a decision and I realized it too. So I actually predict him with a bowler, like right here, because I knew that, you know, this is like his last chance. If he wants to take my tower, it's going to have to be in double. And I know he's going to try NATO, so a tornado and freeze. And he actually went for the, the rage instead. So here I'm just trying to spam enough troops so that that Inferno Dragon can't stunt everything. So that I can actually just get it off the map and then go in for a graveyard. So I'm going to go in for a graveyard at zero, especially since that Inferno Dragon's being protected at zero health. He goes in for a defensive rage, but it's too late. And that is basically game, boys. Yup, yeah, that's how you do it. Um, so right here you just... I mean, this is an easy defense at the end. Um, I can just tornado and forward's just so OP. Uh, no matter what, there's just no way. And, Eagle and Dex never have any spells, and so that's game.